This is Christmas 2020. I think that we can all agree that this year has been, what's the word I'm looking for? Shit. <laughs> but you know, every cloud is a silver lining. I haven't been able to hug my grandchildren for ages, but they FaceTime me every day. So I actually saw more of them than I ever did. We discovered new heroes in our lives, doctors, nurses, porters, truck drivers, cleaners, delivery people and supermarket crews. People I used to take for granted. I hope I never do again. And television. Where would we have been without the TV? You know, we were all determined to make this show this year. Nothing would stop us because in the middle of all the chaos and hurly-burly that come at us, this year we need a, a laugh. I wish we could give this whole year a makeover. <laughs> Though we all learned a little bit about ourselves this year. Some rediscovered the importance of family. Me and Winnie realized we really are best friends. Kathy and Maria remembered why they went into the health service in the first place. And Sharon, <laughs> she was shocked how expensive batteries are for her personal electronics, you know. <laughs> her... <laughs> it's been tough. Some days, instead of going forward, it felt like we were swimming through porridge. Speaking of porridge, Ronnie Barker. Now, there's a man that could make me laugh. <laughs> Thank God for comedy. Whether it's Jimmy Carr or Catherine Tate or Michael McIntyre, Lee Mack's not going out, two doors down, or Dairy Girls. Comedy will always give us a lift. You can be sure of it. When times are tough, we stand by you. Why you look so sad The tears are in your eyes Come on and come to me now And don't Be ashamed to cry Let me see you through Cause I've seen the dark side too When the night falls on Nothing you can Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. <laughs>